For my final trick, I'll no CB Truce Break Byzantium. You know what it is. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where you play every nation in U4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with the final nation in Season F and the final Peasants Republic that we're ever going to play, the nation of Friesland. Like I said, Friesland is one of the three Peasants Republics in the game, along with Death Martian and East Frisia, nations that we've already played and already done stuff as. Because we're a Republic, we start off with this random guy we don't know about him and Frisian ideas are really really good in my opinion meant to be played tall minus 10% dev discount plus 10% production efficiency plus 10% tax we got some trade stuff some state maintenance morale is really strong construction discounts fort defense tolerance and some more trade stuff so uh Friesland definitely has the potential to form the Netherlands and become a super super powerful and rich nation but what do we do as Friesland well something that everyone always asks me to do and I'm sure other creators as well is to basically form Russia as a Peasants Republic because you guys know in U4 Peasants Republics are basically communism since there's no communism in U4. Well, that's exactly what we're going to be trying to do today, ladies and gentlemen. For today, as Friesland, I'm going to attempt to form Russia. Uh, why do I give myself these painful tasks and before we begin if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and boys consider subscribing i'm trying to hit 100k subs before pdxcon in september or else i'm gonna have to start every game of u4 in 1820 i'll only be able to play for one year please boys don't do that to me let's jump in as friesland all right all right here we are as friesland and boys if i'm being honest i have no idea how we're gonna do this man how the hell am i gonna get to russia listen what i'm thinking is just build up as much as we can wait for Muscovy to attack Novgorod and then I'm literally just gonna no CB Novgorod dude if, if that's not gonna work I don't know what is dude uh all right let's take a look uh estate stuff right all right all right estate stuff done since we don't have nobles we can also sell titles and seize land can we get some rivals right at the start sure I'll rival the guys that have already rivaled me let's see do we have a diplorep guy I do so let me try and find some strong ish allies here at least in the HRE I doubt any of these guys over here will help us and uh who do we get man Oh, uh, this is painful. Let me get Moonster since they're right by me. And uh, yeah, this guy collects in the English Channel. This one guy can, uh, I don't know, transfer from Rhineland or something like that. Or maybe from Lubeck. Yeah. All right, the next thing I got to do is uh, go up to Force Limit. Of course, we do have a horse. I never like that. Let's get three infantry guys right there. And uh, we're going to need a lot of boats here, boys. What do we have? Light ships and transports. Uh, well, I'm going to need at least 10 transports. So let's get that going right there. And uh, I'm going to need quite a bit of galleys. All right. I think I'm just gonna try and build up as much as I can until these guys attack Novgorod. I might fight some of these guys next to me if I can. Maybe someone like East Frisia. Yeah, let's see what happens. I'm gonna link with Death Marchin. In fact, I already did. You know, Peasants Republics, they need to stick together, baby. Yeah, let me set these guys as a nation of special interest, however you do that. Yeah, there we go. I mean, I might as well start spying on these guys, right? Who are they ally? Odoyev? Yeah, Muscovy will uh, attack for sure. I wonder if I can even get land over here. I probably don't have the coring range uh i forgot how you find that out yeah i literally don't know how to check coring range <laughs> all right i got favors with moonster i'm gonna attack east frisia it's a nice province they're gonna help me this should be very easy yeah war's already done <laughs> easy <laughs> all right Novgorod is actually already losing but not to Muscovy funnily enough to Denmark and Sweden uh is this the right time to attack them man uh what will Denmark take what will Denmark take this is actually super unusual <laughs> tier 2 governor form time let's take republicanism all right man these guys are for sure about to get dunked on by Denmark probably Muscovy soon uh yeah let's let's no CB them man <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Uh, I got mill access through Denmark so I can just uh, take these guys to Holstein and then just walk the rest of the way. Wait, this army is too small. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I need some loans and uh, I need these boys right here to back me up. Honestly, I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> I I don't think it's going to work. Muscovy actually declared on Tver and not Novgorod and uh, their province war score cost is 189, which means I need Denmark to take about half here if I want to vassalize them. Oh, wait, I need to check this. Nope. It's too far away. I can't, I can't make it a core. <laughs> well, I'm screwed here. Uh, Denmark peaced out. They only took Cola. Um, uh, okay. Muscovy ended their war with Fair, and now they've also declared on Novgorod. Now, this is good. This is good, which means I can just, you know, occupy all the important provinces, which are, uh, basically these ones down here, and then just stand on Novgorod, wait for Muscovy to peace out. Then they should be small enough to where I can vassalize them. Of course, now I can't. It's 181. So, uh, yeah. 
I need to sort of occupy these provinces over here and uh, we'll be good. So let me move away from uh, this one, actually. And there we go. Pretty much almost everything else has been occupied by Muscovy. We are going to have to stay in this war for uh, quite a while, though. Maybe I even need to get rid of some of these provinces here. I don't know how, though. There's no one I can uh, transfer occupation to or unsiege them in any way. And no one's really even mad I did this. In the meantime, I'll uh, dev my capital a little bit to help speed up the spawning of the Renaissance. It's nice. It's farmlands, you know. And uh, this is just what we do every game, baby. You know what it is. In the meantime, I've started improving with Holland. I think I'll probably be able to ally them, honestly. Muscovy should be ending this war pretty soon here. They're maxed out on a uh, ticking war score. Okay, so while I went back to beat uh, East Frisian Separatists, Muscovy did end their... These guys always want to rub it in, man. You know, when I was below zero, they never fed me anything. Whatever. Let's not get bogged down. Let's see what they took. Well, they actually took quite a lot. They did leave this province here for some reason. Please, let me be able to vassalize them. Of course we can, baby. Yeah, that's 52 AE, but who cares? Because Novgorod is our subject. And that's how you enter Russia, boys. Apparently, of course, they're going to be super disloyal. But uh, listen, it's not a problem. I'm going to get them to like me very soon. And uh, with a little more improving with Poland, we should be able to link with them. But uh, yeah, man, easy as pie, yo. Now all we got to do is annex Novgorod or uh, just seize some land from them. Like, uh, let's see right here. Right, right. I need to get them loyal, right. And actually, now that I rivaled Muscovy, I can uh, ally Poland immediately immediately. That's awesome. Let's look for some more Muscovite arrivals to ally. Well, it's me and uh, the Great Horde, apparently. I can't link with these guys. Maybe with Denmark, though? Ah, uh, I doubt it. But I think me and Poland and their boys could be enough to take down Muscovy, man. Uh, we just need to wait for them to annex a subject or two, because they're weaker without their vassals. Uh, I think I can link with Austria, too, honestly. Uh, we can't royal marry them, but with improving, we should be able to, you know... Uh, ally them. There we go. And there's Austria too, man. Without Diplo ideas, by the way. Yes. I like that. Relations with the Emperor is awesome. And uh, let's go for uh, frequent elections. So Poland would definitely help uh, with Muscovy. I think I'm gonna open up with influence here, just so Novgorod likes me quicker, and just so I can annex them faster later. Uh, I don't really like taking influence usually. Diplo would be a lot better, but let's go for it. Why not? You know what would be funny? Stealing Norway and Sweden from Denmark. <laughs> I might try and do that. Oh, I'm helping Austria fight Bohemia and I got stack wiped. No. <laughs> so you pewed Bohemia and now you want Hungary too. Yeah, they're not going to take this. <laughs> they're going to see that it's too much AE in the peace deal and they're not going to take it. This is literally a, use uh, a useless war. By the way, I'm not fighting anyone because uh, you can't fight anyone when you're in a war with the emperor. Well, what do you know? <laughs> they did pew them and... They're not even going to get coalitioned. Wonderful. And let me move on with my own thing, because we're still not strong enough to fight Muscovy boys. Let me declare for Overstrict right here and call in all my boys. Uh, oops, not that. There we go. Boom. And uh, yeah, let them do the work. What is Austria doing? And this war is done too. Nice to finally actually expand a little bit. We can definitely full annex Utrecht here. No risk of a coalition at all. And uh, that's some nice provinces right there, man. I think after this point, I'm gonna start spying on Gilray too. Might connect our lands or something. And I'm honestly just thinking about when to declare on Muscovy, man. They're Multic 5, Poland's 5. I'm probably 5 as well. I'm actually 6. <laughs> that's pretty nice. Um, We should be able to take them easily based on just these stats right here. I might give these guys, what's it called? called uh expansionist zealotry i don't think it'll be a very difficult war at all boys ah uh, i don't know what i was so scared of at the start surprisingly it's uh 1473 biz is still alive they're a junior partner of wallachia wallachia's only allied to herzegovina ottomans are scared i'm actually gonna get the gov cap here since we're gonna be expanding a lot over in russia and we're still gonna be a duchy because we're gonna be in the hre and we're still going to be a duchy because we're going to be in the HRE. Okay, so Muscovy just declared on the Great Horde. This may be the right time to attack. Let's see right here. Poland will help. So uh, let's take our army over here, boys. All right, all right, boys. The army is here. So let's declare on Muscovy, man. Reconquest for one of Novgorod's cores. Obviously, I'll give them back some of their stuff and I'll take some things for me. And uh, let's declare a reconquest for this right here. Call in Poland along with Lithuania, Danzig, and Moldavia. And uh, let's do this. We do have more troops than them. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be that easy. Let's check Miltek. We are uh, weaker. They're tech six. Poland and Lithuania are tech five. Pain? I mean, we just gotta avoid battles here, right? Or at least these guys do. I can get my second idea group now, and I think we're gonna go with uh, quantity here. Ooh, all right, boys. I think this war is pretty much done, man. We're racking up war exhaustion here. Muscovy is pretty beat. I kind of wanted to completely decimate them, but I don't think that's gonna be possible. So let's take a look at what we can do in the peace deal. All right, so what I'm gonna do is give Novgorod a literally all of their cores back that I can, only for AE, by the way. And that's only 66% 
100% war score, we can take some more. So let's try and get some provinces down here like this, this, this. And uh, well, apparently that's as much as we can get. And uh, let's get some money too. 159 ducats. Nice. But all right, man, we're done with this first war. This was easy. I don't think Muscovy is going to be a problem at all after this. Thank you, Poland and Lithuania. I literally couldn't have done it without them. Well, I could have, but uh, it would have taken me about 150 more years. And uh, now I'm going to start annexing Novgorod. All right, now we need to chill and recover because we're super low on everything. And uh, we're just probably going to wait to hit Muscovy again, man. Of course, after I annex Novgorod, I am going to flip to Novgorodian culture. And then I'll see the requirements to form Russia because, well, I don't know them. And you know, in the past, when I've thought about doing this, you know, Peasants Republic to Russia campaign, I was always like, oh my god, it's going to take so long. It's going to be so difficult. But but no, boys, all you, all you got to do is no CB Novgorod. <laughs> All you gotta do is no CB Novgorod. Well, this is also something you don't see every day. And there we go. We've annexed Novgorod super quick, actually, with uh, influence and that papal thing and a Diplorep guy. But uh, now we're huge, baby. I feel very powerful. Let's state all this up and uh, try and flip to Novgorodian, huh? And there we go. I've stated everything up and we can uh, easily flip to Orthodox here, man. All I gotta do is provoke some Orthodox zealots and then we can immediately accept their demands. Let's uh, let me try and do it here, huh? Let's see what happens. Wrong province, by the way. I just sent them to Novgorod. There they are. And I think their demand should immediately be, yeah, Orthodox becomes the new state religion of Friesland. Let's just accept and boom, just like that, we're Orthodox, man. Does Austria not like us anymore? Wait, no. Last time I made a mistake of flipping Protestant, and that's what doomed our campaign. Is it gonna happen again? Well, this is an awkward Iberian wedding. <laughs> Now, to flip to Novgorodian, which I uh, already accepted, I need to unstate some Frisian stuff, which I really can't because it's my capital state. Right. Now, I could ally Kazan here if only they uh, if only they knew I existed. <laughs> of course, we can't just wait around for a truce with Muscovy to expire. So let's fight Gelray, everyone. Let's call in these two boys right here. This shouldn't be too difficult. Wait, they have more troops than us. It doesn't matter. I have a bigger brain than them. Or do I? Huh. <laughs> I got Streltsy from Novgorod, I just noticed. Let's get the presidential system. All right, we're finally done here after piecing out all their allies. And I just wanted Gelry, baby. That's it. Mm hmm. Expansion. This isn't Frisian culture, is it? No, it's Dutch. We're good. Let me take that. Uh, yeah, I know I should have reduced war exhaustion before I core. And listen, real chads, first they core, then they reduce war exhaustion. Yeah, baby, that's how you play. And we can also take belt buildings. Just when Muscovy is up, by the way, Poland would help again. So let's get back to here and uh, go and take some more stuff from them. I do have some claims and... uh. Yeah, looking good, baby. All right, boys, so I was waiting for Poland to wrap up their war with Kazan, apparently. Polish lower Don, that's what's up. And now we can go ahead and declare a Muscovy right here. I did look up the requirements needed to form Russia, and I think all we really need is Moscow, Ryazan, and Vladimir here. But it's great because Ryazan is allied to Muscovy, so we can take that from them as well. So let's declare for Moscow right here, call in Poland and their boys, and this should be even easier than last time, man. Even easier. I even got some cannons now, which means I can bomb Moscow straight away and you know i actually forced my religion on liege when i was fighting uh Gelry, but they didn't convert can you not force religion on a bishopric w what's up with that i should have co-belligerented riaz on i'm an idiot ah the good old burgundian inheritance oldenburg got them <laughs> actually a super easy war man <laughs> that was really really straightforward so uh what did i say i want here right moscow Riazan, and vladimir that's quite a lot of war score and ae and i'm gonna take uh these two provinces because they're novgorodian culture some of these are as well let's take below zero and uh that's that uh i think once we flip to novgorodian we can form russia let's see of course i also need admin deck 10 but we'll be there soon enough now i think in order to actually be able to flip to novgorodian culture uh i will need to move my capital over to some of the to some of these provinces over here just so i can unstate my capital state of friesland right here in order to get rid of this uh 16 friesian culture in stated development because i will need to unstate it right uh, why is that still on? So, uh, yeah, now I'm just saving up some admin points, but moving your capital is not the problem. The problem is we're gonna have to leave the HRE in order to move our capital. Now, I kind of wanted to have Russia and the Empire, but hey, you know, I guess you can't have it all. Or maybe not. Maybe I can just exploit development in some of these provinces right here. I probably shouldn't have exploited manpower right there. Actually, I should have done tax. Did that help? It maybe did help a little bit and maybe i can just you know dev all of these uh Novgorodian provinces that actually did help <laughs> well uh poland called me in versus denmark i guess we're fighting denmark now this war is actually going pretty well i might even get something out of it if uh poland's feeling generous here what's my war participation pretty high actually uh but i don't think i'm actually interested in any of these provinces so uh yeah let's just have fun boys i am having fun beating up their armies 
<laughs> oh yeah, and by the way, I've been devving a couple of these provinces here, and we're actually pretty close to getting Novgorodian up to 50% development. Uh, I think we'll need a couple, couple of more clicks here, boys, honestly. And there we go. We're actually at 50%. Now all I need is Diplo points, and we can flip to Novgorodian. After that, we should see the decision to form Russia. Nice. Hey, a comment. Haven't had one this game so far. What do you mean bankruptcy looming? What's going on here? Okay, I just stabbed up and it uh, went away. Internal conflicts too? What's going on? Is the fact that I'm occupied here affecting me that much? I can't go by boat, they'll destroy me, you fools. Poland, you've been a great friend, but I think you got this, man. Oh, I was gonna separate peace, but I can't. <laughs> sure, sure, I'll help uh, Verdun too. Or not? Wait, I accepted. But I guess I'm already fighting someone in that war, right? Or not? What's going on here? All right, I'm out of here, bro. All right, let me actually flip to Novgorodian now. Boom, there we go. We should... Yes, there it is. We have the decision. And we have all the provinces we need, surprisingly. All we need is Admin Tech 10, man. Yo, forming Russia as, well, uh, two province minor from the Netherlands is very easy, apparently. All you gotta do is ally Poland, Lithuania, no CB Novgorod, and uh, that's the strat right there, boys. This isn't a guide, but you can go ahead and use it. All right, I just noticed that this idiot over here is cruel, and uh, he's uh, making me get internal conflicts, so let's replace him. Now you formed a commonwealth. What, you want my provinces? You don't even want my provinces. Why do you want to break your alliance with me? Minus two? Oh, it's trust, fine. Let's trade some favors for trust then, which I can't. Alrighty then, let's improve. <laughs> Why am I losing so much money, man? No wonder I was gonna go bankrupt earlier. All right, lots of forts. Uh, let's deal with that by obviously deleting all of those forts that are costing me money. Boom, just like that. There we go, no more forts. And we got a lot of interest. Army is honestly not that expensive, man. Uh, let's do that. Uh, fire the advisors too, I guess. What's it looking like right now? Still losing money. Uh, interest. All about that interest. All right, let me get this. Let me sell titles. Uh, I can't seize land, but I don't really care. Oh, we can embrace colonialism? Well, let me actually pay off some loans. Uh, no, actually, I am gonna embrace colonialism. What? And, uh, we're in a way better position. I'd rather lose 3.75 ducats than, uh, 18 or 19 or whatever it was. And actually, let me lower autonomy i kind of forgot to do that you know so many things you got to think about when you're a content creator i can't always remember about autonomy man a lot better a lot better oh we're actually even making money <laughs> Alrighty then let's rival burgundy what's a pasadnik is that like the ruler of novgorod what <laughs> what have we created here boys <laughs> actually i can get uh burger loans too since i apparently don't have them and we can pay off four percent loans uh actually looking real good there you go Easy economy fix. What's going on down here, by the way? What? Not allied to anyone. The Ottomans haven't fought them. Well, there we go. Let's make sure they don't fight them. <laughs> what? What's this? All right, boys. We actually got enough points to get Admin Deck 10 here, man. Boom. There we go. Easy as pie, baby. Let's take another idea group. Let's go with defensive, because why not? And just like that, baby, we can pass these two acts and then form the Russian nation. Boom. There we go. Yes, please. Country changes to Russia. We are an empire of the Tsardom. Let's take strength and noble privileges. Let's take decentralized bureaucracy. Let's get cheaper advisors. Ah, feels good. Let's make St. Petersburg our capital, because why not? Boom. There we go. And boys, actually, I broke broke my alliance with Byzantium just now and got mill access through the Commonwealth and the Ottomans. So now that we've formed Russia, for my final trick, I'll no CB truce break Byzantium. You know what it is. The Commonwealth wants an heir on my throne. Boom, there we go. Someone wants to break their alliance with me. The Commonwealth. Well, I can stop that just by, uh, well, I was going to say call to arms, but listen. No. And just like that, I've arrived in Constantinople. Boom, let's bombard, let's assault. No, I don't shift consolidate, like, ever. Alrighty then. <laughs> Have you guys ever had three disasters ticking at the same time? <laughs> Alright, let's call an Austria to ease the pain here. <laughs> I guess I somehow automatically left the HRE. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, I've defeated Byzantium and I can't take their provinces because they're too far away. But listen, they can be my vassal, can't they? But yeah, there you go, man. We started off as the nation of Friesland, funnily enough, the final Peasants Republic that we were supposed to play in A to Z after Dith Martian and East Frisia. And for our goal, we did something everyone has been asking to form Russia as a Peasants Republic. And we started off by no CB Novgorod while they were fighting someone else. Then we waited for uh, them to get shrunk enough by Denmark and Muscovy, which thankfully did happen. And then we could vassalize them. Then I annexed them, expanded over here, thanks to Poland and Lithuania. Of course, it wouldn't have been possible without them. 
them unless I waited a lot and grew my base elsewhere in order to expand into Muscovy. But thanks to Poland and Lithuania, we beat up Muscovy twice, took all the necessary provinces that we needed to form Russia, flipped to Novgorodian culture by devving provinces over here, and then finally waited for Amentech 10, and we could and did form Russia. And of course, for my final trick, I know CB Truce broke Byzantium. This is the coalition map mode. No one's even really mad. We flipped to Orthodox. We flipped to Novgorodian culture. What more do you want, baby? What more do you want? This is the perfect game right here. We didn't go bankrupt, but we could have. We are losing money, so we might. And we have four disasters ticking at the same time. So overall, a classic A to Z episode and definitely one for the books. But Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Friesland for our finale in Season F has been a success. And that has been Friesland in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more challenges like this or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.